Well, I, I think that uh, a leader, first and foremost, has to be able to understand what his goals and objectives are and what he's trying to do. So for us to be able to sit down and see better leaders, I think you and I have to be in command of the things that we hold dear. That uh, we don't want to be making the same decision day after day after day. I think the ability to sit down as a parent and know that uh, as a man, that there are certain rules and regulations that I have to abide by as the head of my house and as God's head of my house to, to bring out the very best in everyone in my family. And that's one of my major responsibilities. Well, understand it first, it's, it's a hard work. That's a hard job. Marriage is the most difficult job I've ever had because it never stops. But even while that, that job is going on, I'm still being married 24 seven and trying to make sure that I'm sensitive to and meet the needs of my wife. I, I think the biggest challenge for men today is prioritizing what they believe in. To be able to sit down and say, these are the five or six things, or these are the three things, or this is the one thing that I believe in. So let's make sure that you, you are doing all the things that are necessary so you can become the best you can be. Now you want to be able to look at someone and say, I would like to go into business with you and them not have a reservation about your character and your honesty and integrity. It's not okay just to sit down and let life go by. You have to be active. You have to prioritize what you're going to do, but you have to really know what you stand for and who you stand beside. Advice to uh, dads about disciplining sons is, is a difficult task. I, I think that in many cases, the way children treat their mother is the way that the father treats the mother. That uh, if, if the son sees you disrespecting your mother, his mother, then he may assume it's okay. Why? Well, because daddy does it. Before you can lead, you have to know what your principles are. And you can't lead somebody where you haven't been. There's no place in life for bullying. Don't you start a fight. But there's something worth fighting for. So don't you run from one. So we want to have six balls in the air and say, look at me, I've got all these things twirling. Good, how important is that one? Well, not very, then get rid of it. How about that one? Pretty soon you can probably get rid of the seven or eight of the eight or 10 you got up there. And when you get life basic, simple, you don't have to make the same decision but once. It takes two to raise a family, uh, and at least two, uh, for dads to fill the role of importance they have to have their priorities straight. Again, I go back to that over and over and over. If you as a dad want to have the positive impact on your children and on your family, they have to understand where you stand. They have to understand by the vocabulary you use. It, it, would we agree that it's foolish to ask your children to do something you're not doing? For example, if you have a wet bar and alcohol in your house, now you tell your children, don't you drink? Well, how hypocritical is that? when you expect other members of your family to do things that you're not willing to do or to give up on your own. We do that on a daily basis. We use a vocabulary, we treat one another, uh, we prioritize the things that we do, and we let them down by not giving them a solid example to live up to. Men can be better leaders, I think, by making sure that they understand who they are and what they are. God has a plan for each person's life, and uh, we need to offer that plan up to Him, ask His advice. But again, I think I have to be able to, in my own mind and in my own heart, be able to establish the things that are critically important to me in my daily life. The best way to help marriages to survive, from my perspective, is to listen. I think the ability to sit down and be patient uh, to leave our children a legacy of patience and of love. Uh, you know, that's the same legacy that Christ left for us. 
I think the, the biggest challenge for men today is the one that I, I faced and I've seen a lot of my friends face. And then it's really refining what you believe, you know, who you are. What kind of man do you really want to be? Uh, to, to keep uh, the balance of life and family and hobbies, work together is, is one of the most difficult tasks a man has. We can never control all the circumstances in which we find ourselves, never. But we must be able to co control ourselves in the midst of each one of those circumstances. We must be able to do that. Only then can we make sure we're having the impact that God's called us to.